guys, I've got a really squeeze this video in, so I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, so it's a what's in my dock. First we have the finder, this is a customised icon. It's just your average finder, um, no cover flow because it's the Tiger version, but, you know. Um, next we have system preferences. Again, the Tiger version. Down here, application enhancer, iStat menus, this is all this up here. Um, Perian, this is so I can use Cube TV. Shapeshifter for the themes. Um, sizzling keys, show me what iTunes song is playing, and smart scroll to make the computer scroll like an iPhone. Um, next we have the dashboard, I'm not going to launch it, it'll take too long. Um, all the widgets and stuff, again, customise icon. Mail, and whilst Mail is launching, I'll show you Safari. This is the new Safari 4 public beta, I think it's 4, Safari 4 public beta. Um, this is Alfred's stream here. No, I better not say recording a YouTube video. <laughs> That's just be weird because they're probably talking about something. Um, yeah, you can tell it's the new one because the new tabs up here. Uh, again, mail, so you know, all the usual. That's hooked up to my Gmail account. No complaints about it, I really like mail. Safari, iCab, um, that's just a general browser. Um, it's my secondary browser, I don't need to launch it that often. Newsfire, this is for RSS. If you're into RSS, then this is a must have application. Um, it's fantastic. If you want to know more about it, go onto my profile and click in my subscriptions or friends box or whatever. Uh, Dylan the Mac guy, and he's got an application overview of it. Google Earth, um, this is just so you can like see around the world and that. I think it's a still picture, I'm not quite sure, but it's just nice to have. iChat, I've only got like three contacts, three or four, or I don't know. But um, yeah, it's not .Mac, it's hooked up to my AIM, so yeah. AIM isn't very popular in this country, so... Microsoft Messenger, now this is popular in my country. Um, in the UK, it's just, everybody loves it. I've got the two because this one is just much quicker and looks better, and this one has webcam and offline messaging features. Skype, I don't have many friends on there, but um, the ones I do have um, are great mates, and I talk to them pretty often, so... Twitterific, this is my Twitter client, nothing special, just, you know, Twitter, no complaints. Actually, I'll show you those three, so open at the moment we have Twitterific, Skype, and AMSN. Um, transmission, my torrent client, nothing special, really easy to use, um, I don't use torrents that often. Tube TV, this is what I needed Perion for to download YouTube videos. BBC iPlayer desktop, um, to download iPlayer videos, really good. QuickTime player, Pretty self-explanatory. Same with real player and same with DVD player. Uh, VLC play pretty much any media format. It's a pretty good little app. It's also free. Um, Audacity. It's just a simple music editor. Um, fade in, fade out. You can do a bit of recording. Here's the interface. Very simple, you know. It's one of the first music editors I used. Um, iTunes. I love iTunes to bits. I can't get enough of iTunes. It's just my best friend, really. Um, Garage Band, this is iLife 08, guys. So we have Garage Band, iPhoto, iDVD, and iMovie. Garage Band, um, oh yeah, and iWeb, but whatever. Garage Band, fantastic. iPhoto, don't do a lot with um, photos, but when I do, it's a pretty good app. iDVD, so simple to use, and I know this is, um, I'm saying it differently to how I did in the last video, but it's just fantastic. iMovie 08, it's rubbish. This, this is what I use for um, YouTube, and this is what I use for any serious. Live type should be here, but we'll sort that out again. Um, iWeb, really easy to use. iWeb sites, this is to manage more than one iWeb site. Photo booth, we'll just have a quick little look at what we can do. It's asking for cam twist, but there we are. There's me. <laughs> Um, next we have text edit, no complaints, just a lovely little notepad application, very speedy. Neo Office, I'm not going to launch it, it'll take too long. Um, very good application. It's for, it's like a free version of Word, PowerPoint, Excel and all that, so it's really good. I actually think it's better than the Mac version. Cam Twist, if you do use Stream and you have a Mac and you don't own this, there's something wrong with you. It's free, download it, it's really easy. 
I show you this my computer isn't powerful enough to use this um, especially at HD it exports whilst it's recording which is such a stupid idea um, yeah it just slows it down so I use Screenium um, again one of Dylan's recommendations Screenium is just amazing it does cost a bit but it's really worth it Handbrake um, this is to rip DVDs onto your Mac it's 12.45 it can be a bit dodgy sometimes but you know iRed Light this is to get the most out of your Apple remote Seashore um, painting and photo editing it's free it's, a, it's like a really bad version of Photoshop uh, light icon change the icons in the dock or in your finder or whatever liquid Mac uses the built-in motion sensor on, on your Mac to like move liquid around the screen Quinn that's like a free Tetris game desktop manager this is spaces for Mac um, spaces for Tiger I have that on my channel tutorial about it wake up this is just an alarm for your Mac I cursor this um, my mate James recommended this to me. This is fantastic. Um, you probably can't see that particular effect, so you know you can just make stuff with your arrows and stuff. So that's really good. Uh, I alert you. This is to use the alarm with the Apple remote. I don't use it um, in a real situation. It's just there for fun. Mac Tracker shows me how much RAM I can put in certain machines, and that really useful. App Zapper to completely delete applications off my Mac. Clamex AV is to get rid of um, Windows viruses from your Mac. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, Yasi or Yasi or whatever, but it just cleans up all your cache and Safari cookies and stuff. Disk utility to repair your disk permissions, partition your hard drives, etc. And finally, for the applications, it's CheckUp. Um, I haven't launched it in ages because I used iStat menus up here, but um, CheckUp is a very good application. I have my applications folder here for applications that I need to access that aren't in my dock. Um, iTunes Music, so if I'm on a different um, desktop, I can access it quickly and then my trash. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, that's basically my doc.